Hello friends and followers. Here's a power cord that I put together for a Swan 117 XC power supply. The cord I got off eBay for about eight bucks. It's a pretty heavy cord. The cord was heavy duty enough that I couldn't solder it directly into this plug, this cinch plug. This is supposedly a TRW cinch plug. I got it off eBay for like 23 bucks. I bet though it's a Chinese copy. I don't know if it's original or not, but it says cinch on there, TRW, but who knows? It didn't seem to melt like it was cheap, so maybe it was good. Anyway, I used this bus wire um, 18 gauge, which I had laying around here, to go between the uh, prongs. So, my friend David has a great video up. David of New Jersey, who had a wonderful video he showed me of how to wire this plug. I followed that video. I also looked at the manual here, which pretty much um, echoes what David did. And there's the power supply right there. So the only real change I did was I wanted to get the green wire grounded. And I noticed this, this center row here, all connected together, went to ground on the chassis. So. I plugged this thing into the wall socket and then had this wire disconnected. Just put a jumper wire on here and see if the circuit breaker or the ground fault interrupter GFI would, would blow, and it didn't. So that seemed good. At any rate, here's some views of the uh, wiring if you want to take a look at it. Let's get some light on here. Just because sometimes it's easier to look at work that's done than look at diagrams. So here you go. And thank you, David, for your video. It was great. So as David described, there's there's three buses that go down. The three middles, are, well, the two middles are, are all tied together. And there's a jumper at the very top left. The next row is pretty much open. Those four pins there are open, as you see. And then these next two rows are all tied together with one line, all three pins are tied together. The power black goes into this pin here. That should go through a fuse, but David put a fuse on the power supply, so I'm not using a fuse there. That should, black wire should go to a fuse uh, that's just mounted on this plug somewhere. But since David fused his power supply, which, which he's kindly sold me, um, I, I didn't put a fuse in. And the white wire, which is really a ground wire, goes there. So that's how this all goes together. And let me get you a clear view of it. There's a view from that angle. Again, the middle is tied together. So the row with the green, all three are tied together. The row after that, all three are tied together. And then this black one is off by its own. And that's actually a uh, hot wire from the uh, house or the uh, shack. The middle one is tied to the right one where the white wire is. And that about does it. So next steps are to put it back together. But there's a, whoa, there's a nice, uh, a nice video of, for showing you the connections. So you can replicate it at your house or place of work or place or whatever. All right, so yeah, just like that. Follow this diagram here, it matches what David did and what I just did. It'll be in good shape. This can also work on, on, on 220, 240 if you wire it this way. But this is why I've wired it for uh, for 110. So just take a look around for the schematic, the schematics on Bama, um, Bonemaker Manual Archive. And that's the schematic of the power supply right there. All right. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Don't get shocked.